By year 2154, humanity has left Earth in an absolutely calamitous state, a consequence of overpopulation, disease, and contamination. The elite class decides to build a space station called Elysium and live without pollution or illnesses thanks to special pods that can heal anything. Now Earth is only inhabited by the poor, like Orphan Max and his best friend Frey. They spend lots of time together and enjoy looking at books about Elysium, to the point where Max promises Frey one day he'll take her there. Max begins to steal in order to save money for tickets to Elysium, no matter how many times the nun in charge of the orphanage asks him to stop. Many years later in Los Angeles, Max is a former thief on probation, trying his best to work an honest job at the factory. But even when he's well-behaved, officer robots stop him at the bus station to check his backpack just because of his criminal history. Max answers them with a joke, causing the robots to push him to the ground and hurt his arm. After the robots find nothing in his bag and let him go, Max goes to the hospital and is shocked to find Frey, who he hasn't seen in a while. While Frey takes care of his arm, they take the chance to catch up and Max asks her out on a date, Frey accepts after some hesitation. Afterward Max goes to work at Armadine, the company that built Elysium and now makes robots, owned by billionaire Carlisle. Max's manager tries to fire him for arriving late, and Max explains he had an accident. He gets to keep his job, yet he still gets a warning. Meanwhile a group of rebels led by Hacker Spider are giving people fake IDs and getting them into shuttles to try to reach Elysium to get medical care. In the station, Defense Secretary Delacorte receives a message warning her of three incoming undocumented shuttles approaching Elysium, and she rushes back to her office to take action. The shuttles are told to go back to Earth, but they won't listen, so Delacour orders to activate Kruger, a sleeping agent she's hidden on Earth. This is against the law, but Delacour doesn't care. Kruger arms himself with a missile launcher and manages to take down two shuttles before they reach the station. The third one dodges the missile and does land on Elysium, allowing a woman to run out and break into a house. She puts her sick daughter in a healing pod and the girl immediately gets healthy, but at that moment a bunch of robot cops show up and aggressively arrest them both to send them to Earth. Back to Max, on his way home he bumps into his friend Julio, who wants help stealing some cars, but Max turns him down because he doesn't want to go to jail again. The next day at work, Max discovers an object has jammed the door to the radioactive room. His manager makes him go inside to fix it, and Max has to obey if he doesn't want to lose his job. Removing the object turns out to be quickly, but this causes the door to close and the machine begins working again. His co-workers try to force open the door, but they aren't quick enough and Max squirms in pain as he's exposed to a huge dose of radiation. When they finally manage to free him, Max is sent to the company's medical bay and a robot tells him he'll die in five days, but he can take some pills to function until then. Carlisle shows up when he hears production stopped and orders the manager to fire Max. In the meantime, Delacorte is called to an audience by President Patel to call her out for violating the law when she used a sleeper agent and killed 46 civilians. Delacorte explains she'll do whatever is necessary to protect their home and their families from savages, which makes Patel warn her that if she does something like this again, she'll be fired. Sometime later, Carlisle meets with Delacorte to renew the defense contracts for the space station. Delacorte wonders if Carlisle can override Elysium's system and put a new president in power. When Carlisle confirms he can, Delacorte offers a 200-year contract if he puts her in power, and he accepts. At the hospital, Frey is devastated to hear that her patient Matilda can't be cured and she must be sent home. Meanwhile Max tries to get to his house, but he's feeling too sick and Julio has to help him move. After throwing up, Max tells Julio what happened and asks him to take him to Spider. Max wants to buy tickets to go to Elysium, and since he doesn't have the money, he offers to do anything Spider needs. Spider actually has a dangerous mission that nobody wanted to take, he's created a device that can access organic information from a person's brain and transfer it to another. The mission would entail Max finding a billionaire and getting all their access data so they can empty their bank accounts. Max accepts as long as Julio gets a ticket to and if his target is Carlisle. Spider accepts those conditions and offers Max an exoskeleton suit that can make him as powerful as a robot and will make up for the weakness caused by the radiation. The operation to fuse the exoskeleton to Max's bones and nervous system is long and complicated, but it ends successfully, and now Max can fight any robot that dares to stop him. Max also gets an ID tattoo on his arm that will make the system think he was born in Elysium. Back to Carlisle, he's encrypting his cerebral information, putting up a defense mechanism that will kill anyone that tries to access his mind and destroying his computer when he's done. Then he gets ready to take his shuttle to leave for the station. At the same time, Max and his group show up at Carlisle's facility to capture him. Max shoots at the shuttle when it takes off, causing it to start failing and eventually crash. At Elysium, Delor is keeping an eye on Carlisle for the sake of her own future and discovers this attack, so she sends Kruger and a military ship to defend him. The group approaches the crashed shuttle and finds robots ready to defend Carlisle. Max destroys one by shooting it, and he engages the other one in hand-to-hand -hand combat, defeating it by tearing off its head. Then they enter the shuttle and start downloading the information from Carlisle's brain, only to find all the data is messed up. At that moment the military ship shows up, and the group decides to run. 
suddenly Max's head starts hurting, delaying everyone and giving time for Kruger to catch up and kill most of them. Max and Julio try to escape in a car, but the vehicle is hit with explosives and gets flipped over. Kruger approaches Max when he crawls out and stabs him with a knife, then gets a sword in order to finish off. However Julio stops him by trying to shoot him. His shots fail, but Kruger is furious anyway and kills Julio first. Max uses this distraction to retrieve a gun and try shoot Kruger too, but Kruger puts up an energy shield and falls unconscious instead of dying. After taking a short moment to mourn for Julio, Max runs away. Meanwhile Delacorte finds out Carlisle died from blood loss, and as soon as Kruger wakes up, she sends him after Max. Kruger and his men analyze the crashed shuttle and discover that Carlisle had Elysium system reboot program in his mind and now that info is in Max, so they send droids to help with the search. To make matters worse, Delacorte declares Los Angeles a no-fly zone, and Spider finds all signals are jammed in the city. In the evening, Frey is getting ready to take Matilda home, and as soon as she walks outside she finds Max asking her for help with the stab wound. Frey wants to take him inside the hospital, but Max explains he's a wanted man so public spaces are a no. The next morning, Max wakes up in Frey's house with his wound patched up. He discovers Matilda is Frey's daughter and she suffers from leukemia, so she doesn't have much time left. Frey notices Max's ID tattoo and asks for help getting Matilda into Elysium, but Max explains they'll get killed if they even try. Then Max leaves the building, only to be found by a robot. He begins running away and tries throwing a few things at it, managing to disable it. However all of this was still transmitted to Kruger, who immediately flies to the location. He bursts into Frey's apartment and arrests her and Matilda for housing a criminal. Max makes it back to Spider's hideout and demands his ticket to Elysium. Spider explains he can't send shuttles with the signals jammed, but he also points out that Max must have something really important in his mind for the government to activate the jamming. He takes a look at the data and discovers Elysium's reboot program, which they could use to do a huge impact on society. However Max points out he only has a few hours left to live, so he'll use the data as a bribe in exchange for a ticket. Then Max returns to the robot that chased him to taunt Kruger into coming after him. Kruger shows up and finds Max threatening to detonate a grenade if anyone tries something, which would kill him and therefore the important data. Kruger accepts to take him to Elysium, and when Max enters the shuttle, he discovers Frey and Matilda are there too. Kruger lets Delacorte know he is Max, thus Delacorte disables the jamming so they can fly him over. Spider immediately gets his systems back online and begins tracking Max through his exoskeleton. As soon as they notice he's going to Elysium, the rebels get their weapons and board their shuttles. Sometime later, Kruger's shuttle is almost at Elysium. Max tries to apologize to Frey for getting her involved, but at that moment Kruger and his companion attack Max, and the fight causes the pilot to lose control of the ship. Max accidentally drops his grenade and it explodes, hurting Kruger's face and taking out the ship's engine. The shuttle crashes in the suburbs and the security cameras warn Delacorte, who sends her people to arrest everyone on that ship. When Max regains consciousness and finds Frey stuck in her seat, so he uses his new strength to help her out. Kruger and his companion also wake up and begin fighting Max. Frey uses the chance to grab Matilda and take her inside a house to put her inside a healing pod, but the machine has been changed and now they don't work if you don't have a citizen ID. At that moment the guards arrive and tase Max and Frey. The next time Max wakes up, he finds Delacorte and a bunch of technicians checking on Carlisle's data. The information is fine, but Max will die if they try to extract it. Delacorte doesn't care and tells them to do it anyway. While the rebels arrive at Elysium and go looking for Max, Kruger's men lock up Frey and Matilda. Kruger himself is barely alive, so he's put through a procedure that both heals him and gets him an exoskeleton like Max's. Moments later, Max manages to get loose and hits the technicians to make them confess Frey's location, he also takes their access cards. Delacorte shows up to furiously scold Kruger for not handling the mission properly, but Kruger responds by stabbing her and locking her with Frey. While Frey tries to take care of Delacorte's wound, Kruger orders his men to get rid of every politician in the building while he looks for Max. The men jump into action and kill every politician they can find by using grenades. When Max finds the control room, the whole place is a mess. The monitors show him Frey and Matilda in the building, plus the rebels getting closer. Using a communicator, Max gets in contact with Spider and asks him if the program in his head can make everyone a citizen. Spider confirms it can, and together they make a plan. Afterward Max goes looking for Frey and finds Kruger's thug in the room. A fierce fight begins and Max gets the upper hand, managing to beat Kruger's man up to death. The other thug shows up too and shoots at Max, but Max easily retrieves a heavy gun and shoots him back. Afterward, Max takes the girls to the elevator and tells them to find a healing pod. Frey points out the lack of ID, but Max promises he will take care of that and sends them away. At that moment, Max hears Kruger yelling nearby, meaning he's still alive. The door opens and Max gets ready to fight, but it's just Spider and his group. A man is sent to help Frey and Matilda while Max and the rebels go to Elysium system room, only to be found by Kruger, who starts killing anyone he can get his hands on. Max and Spider run away and try closing a door behind them, but Kruger blocks them. 
Suddenly Max's head starts hurting again, giving Kruger the opportunity to get through an attack. Max fights back and Spider tries to help, causing Kruger to drop his sword off the platform. Kruger retaliates by stabbing Spider's hand with a knife, then goes after Max again. As the two of them continue to fight, Spider removes the knife from his hand and rushes to hack the door to the system room. Kruger overpowers Max and stabs him as he teases him for disappointing a child, this makes Max furious and jumps on Kruger to tear off his exoskeleton. Without the machine support, now Kruger can't defend himself from Max's robot strength and thinks of using a grenade to bring them both down. Max reacts quickly and frees himself from Kruger's hold before throwing him off the platform. At that moment Spider opens the door, and as soon as he and Max get inside, Spider locks it again to leave the incoming guards outside. While Frey finds the pod and puts Matilda inside, Max connects his brain to Elysium's system. Spider does all the necessary programming then gives Max a remote control to trigger the reboot, explaining that Max won't survive if he chooses to press the button. Max uses the computer he's connected to in order to contact Frey, apologizing for not being able to be with her but also pointing out he kept his promise from their childhood and brought her to Elysium. Max begins remembering all his happy memories with Frey as kids as he presses the button. While Patel arrives with more guards to break down the door and arrest Spider, the system reboots, leaving the ship with no power for a few seconds. When it activates again, the system adds new citizens to the database. The healing pod reads Matilda as a legit patient and begins curing her while the robots refuse to arrest Spider because arresting Elysium citizens is against the law. Now that everyone on Earth also counts as an Elysium citizen, the system detects all the poor people in need of medical attention, so they send down shuttles to help them. While everyone in the slums runs to the ships to meet their salvation, Frey comes outside and looks at Earth in sky, thinking of all the wonderful memories Max left her, 